Hello guys and welcome back to yet another video and uh, we're back in Blender 2.81 this time and uh, if you've watched any of the previous videos that I just made I made this uh, little low poly guy and I also rigged them and did the armature and things like that the bone and the IK and in this video I'm going to do a quick one just to get him into walking in Blender so this is going to be a really simple quick walk cycle video for you and uh, it's just basically a few uh, uh, keyframes that I do four main ones and then I flip those into mirrored ones and then uh, just uh, have him walking, swinging his arms a little bit back and forth. So it's a really basic walk, you should uh, be able to replicate this in no time if you've written your character. So I hope you like it and let's just get straight into the video and have a look. Uh, where was, where were, where were I, where was I, where am I? I'm right here. So uh, we have these views, I press control 3 on the keypad to get into this view. And then for this uh, motion let's go back to frame 1 here and then Select A for all the keyframes, or all the bones, Alt G and Alt R to reset everything back into this pose. So let's start by flipping the arms down a little bit. We've got auto keying down here still on, which is really important. We've got the walk action enabled. So control three. The first thing we need to do now is stop itching my nose. First thing we need to do is look at this pose, the contact pose. So the right leg is gonna go back and down He's going to be slightly lower, and his leg, left leg is going to be forward. So let's put, let's move this one back. Let's move the pelvis down now. There. Right foot back. And a bit of an angle. Don't have to worry too much about this feet going through the ground because when he walks, it's going to be that fast and it's low poly anyway. So it's not too, it's not worth really bending his foot. It's too much work, I think, for what it's worth. You could do it if you want, but save some time and do this. Usually looks good enough. And then put the right or the left leg forward and rotate it up. It's pretty straight leg, as you can see here. Nearly very. You shouldn't always. You shouldn't lock your knee forward unless you want to have some knee injuries. So have a slight bend and then down a little bit. We'll leave the arms to later. So that's our contact pose. Maybe a little bit back again. There we go. So first pose is finished. Uh, let's go to the second one, and, and that's the low pose here. So I'll skip to frame four here. So I'll go, here's one frame, two, three is empty, and then on four, we go down with the pelvis a little bit, like this. This leg comes up a bit, and remember we're doing the inverse kinematic, so we take this control bone for the inverse kinematic. And then this leg has started to flip its foot a bit and slide it back, so G to move this one back and R to rotate it. That's good enough, and remember we do the arms later on, so that's fine. If we slide here now, you can see that he's starting to do this walking motion. So we keep skipping two frames in between here. So from frame four, we'll skip two and go to frame number seven. And then we'll do this passing pose. So this leg is gonna, first of all, the pelvis, he, he shoots up a little bit if you see the head height here. So we go up again. We take this foot and we move it forward a bit and then down a bit, G to grab it. And then this one is just sliding back now. And we can see that this leg should be pretty straight so we can raise the pelvis even more here. Let's bring this foot up again. And then finally, we skip two frames and go to this one, number 10. And then here's the high pose. So he needs to go even a slight bit higher. Not much, but a little bit. And he's actually going a little bit on his tiptoe there. So we can rotate like that. And then this leg we need to bring forward now, all the way up to here. Like that, maybe, a little bit forward again. So here we go. Now we've got uh, the legs moving pretty good. And here's the nice thing, if you've mirrored it correctly, then uh, if you press A here, or actually let's only do the legs, uh, we've only really moved the pelvis bone and these two leg bones. That's all we've moved so far. So I press control three on the keypad to get from the right view. And then I press control C now to copy these. And then I skip the two frames from here. So I have frame 10, 11, 12, and then I go to 13 here. And then I press control shift V. And that will flip the post that I had here. As you can see now, 
it took these bones here. I selected the two feet control bones and the pelvis and it flipped that pose when you press control shift V. And I do the same here. I keep the pelvis, the two feet bone selected, control C on frame four here. And then I skip two frames of for forward here to 16, control shift V to do a mirrored pose. And then I do the same again, control C here. And I skip these two frames, control shift V. And then here, control C, skip two frames here, control shift V. We go back to the first frame, control C, and we paste that here on frame number 25. Press control V here because you need to have it back to uh, the original pose. So now frame one and frame 25 are identical. Uh, and we want to loop this, but you only want to go to frame 24 because you don't want to repeat the 25 and the zero or in the first frame again. So that's why I've set the end here to 24. And if we press play now, you're starting to have a decent walk pose already. Maybe it's a bit, uh, you could do a lot of tweaking. Uh, you need some body movement and some arm movement. But for the most part, this is pretty good. And we're only animating the pelvis bone now, remember, and we're animating the two feet bones by moving them. And then the inverse kinematic is doing all the magic for the actual leg movement. So now we should just do the arm movement as well. And for that, let's keep it really simple as well. I press control three, press R to rotate this uh, right arm forward and up a bit. And then I select this arm in the back, rotate that one back and down. So that's pretty good. And then let's select these four bones now and then press control C. And what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna put these on, let's see if we, if I go back to the pelvis bone, we have actually, so that's our first pose, second pose, third pose, fourth pose. So on frame 13, that's where we've actually mirrored this pose here. And then we're on 25, we're back again. So if I select the arms here again, I copy them from frame one, I go to frame 13 and I press control shift V to flip the arms. And then I go to frame 25. And then here I press control V because I want the same pose as I have on frame one here again. And that's all we really need for the arms. Um, we don't really need to flash too much more and do uh, too much details. It uh, interpolates pretty good between those two. So, Control S. Uh, I should also mention that if you uh, haven't, uh, if if you try to do a mirror pose and instead of the arms going like this, it'll flip them out so it goes uh, like all wonky like this, left arm up and down and whatever. It's probably because your orientation of the bones are incorrect. I've got a video if you uh, look in the reference. Uh, uh, you need to do a shift N uh, and align all the bones from this front view. Um, so if I'm in this uh, mode here, where I'm out of pose mode, select all the bones and I do shift N, you need to do uh, align to view axis when you're in the front view. Uh, that will uh, get the bones oriented correctly so the flip mirror pose would work. It's a real pain, but you'll get there in the end. Sometimes you have to recreate a lot of the armature because uh, everything will be messed up because the normals or the orientation of the bones are wrong. Uh, I've done that error loads of times myself and finally in the end if you keep repeating it and you keep forgetting it and you keep redoing it you'll get it in the end <laughs> so keep that in mind. So that was just a quick video now just after Christmas I hope you had a good holiday so far and I hope you got a lot of presents well uh, if you're anything like me uh, being a parent you pretty much gave presents more than you got so always I think my present was to see the kids smile and then I've been building Lego and playing with Barbies uh, building dolls houses playing with more Barbies playing with dolls houses and then building more Lego. I've got one son and two girls. I haven't, uh, to be honest, I'm all for uh, for gender roles. Let them play with whatever they want. My girls pick Barbies and my son picks uh, Lego. I'm not gonna intervene with that. Just uh, don't mess with nature. When we're coming up to New Year's. I'm gonna be cranking out some more videos. I didn't hit my goal so far unless something magical happens and I get two and a half thousand subscribers in about four days or three days. So that would be uh, a bit crazy. Don't think that's gonna happen, but that's okay. I'm gonna aim for uh, for improving my video and my channels next year. Hopefully I'll be able to add a lot of more uh, Blender content, uh, Unity, game making, game dev, music, audio recording, 
you name it. So if you've got any suggestions, just put it in the comments below and I'll try to, to do some videos for you. And um, in the meanwhile, I hope you have a perfect ending to this year and to this uh, decade, in fact. And hit the likes button if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be uh, seeing you soon around and take care. And Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year as well. That's it. Quick as that. Fastest video ever. This is messed up. Uh, my vision is here. I'm looking at my little screen and it looks super blurry and I think I'm out of focus, but then it turns out my eyes are out of focus. So I need to probably get some glasses, but I'm keep postponing it. Maybe I, if I postpone it long enough, maybe I won't need glasses. I've also noticed that if I do this, I see really sharply, but it would be feeling weird to walk around like this all the time. So I probably won't. Maybe I should just get glasses or lens, as you call lenses. And those uh, things that, yeah, maybe I'll get lenses. Or maybe I'll just stick with blurry stuff. Don't have to, I'll fix it in post.